Welcome to the final part of the Folk DC series on using Movie Maker and YouTube. This part will show you how you can extend and add to your videos on YouTube. What we need to do is go into YouTube and here we are in my YouTube and this is my channel. And then we actually have to go and look at the videos. So we go up here to where it says videos, we click that and we select my videos. So this is an overview page of all the videos that we've uploaded on YouTube. So we can see some basic information and thumbnails. And what we want to do is to edit the information. So we go to edit. On the edit information page we have four tabs. Info and settings, audio swap, annotations and captions and subtitles. On the info and settings you will see all the different areas that you used when you uploaded the video. A title, description, tags and the categories. But what you can also do is change the thumbnail. YouTube chooses one automatically but you can change and select from two others. If you want to make a video public you can also change the privacy options but you must be very careful that you have all written permissions that you need and the copyrights are clear. Now you can also set a date and a map location. So let's actually do that. Let's go date February 5th 2011. Now that's very useful if you've got a particular event that you wanted to talk about. Let's put in a location. London. Do a search and there you go it shows the location. With this tool you can replace your audio. But you must remember that if you do do this all your audio will be replaced. There's hundreds of different tracks available so you just choose the type of music, the sound and then you get the actual soundtrack and over here you can do a preview over here on the right. The quality is very good as you can hear. One thing you should be aware of is this note down at the bottom here about advertisements. Now advertisements can be displayed on your videos if you've used the audio swap library. So you should be aware of this. Now annotations allow you to add text and effects to your videos. Now, there's a five different areas, speech bubbles, notes, titles, spotlights and pause. So let's make a speech bubble. Here we can put it in. Let's add some text. Change the font size change the font color and change the color of the bubble itself. You can change the timing of the caption. You can either do it here or down here. Just move it around, start it when you want and if you don't want it you can just delete it here. Captions and subtitles allows you to put text over the top of your videos. This is particularly useful if you're looking at international projects. There's an English machine transcription, but that doesn't work very well. You can then click here, add new captions and subtitles. You can upload a text file. If you upload an English text file, the new tube will automatically put it into the right part of the video. This works very well, I've tried it a few times. If you're using another language, you need to do a caption file and put the time codes. There's quite a lot of information over here how you can actually do that. This facility is really useful if you're running an international project or you want to address people in more than one language. So that's the end of the Folk DC series on using Movie Maker and YouTube. I hope you found it interesting and helpful. If you need anything more or you'd like to speak to us or have questions, please do so through the Folk DC website.